Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Commetrics Online Intel Show. Today we're going to talk about lessons 4 through 6 to be learned from the GAP logo debacle. Lesson 1 through 3 you can read about at the URL given right here at our, on uh, our blog. I'm Erzi Gattaker, I'm the CTO and co-founder of Commetrics. We've delivered social media marketing solutions and monitoring tools for all kinds of organizations. Ultimately, we help them improve their customer relationship management and couple knowledge about social media risks with war room response capabilities. Now, how did Gap drop the ball on this one? It tried to rebrand itself and having clients loving it. The strategy was to do it on the sly or quiet in the hope they will go down well. But this indicates a lack of knowledge about risks one takes using such an approach with social media. So my objective for today is that you walk away with a clear understanding that messing with one's visual identity is a risky business and doing it wrongly using social media can backfire. Then have you choose us as your partner moving forward. So lesson number four is emotions versus rationality, including some connection of the original logo, the blue square to the upper left. It makes perfect sense in business terms to use such a logo. But logic and reason can play second fiddle to gut instinct, and that's what happened here. Lesson number five is that don't pretend to be something that you're not. So BP tried to tell us by moving from the shield to the flower in 2000 that they were environmentally responsible. But if we look at the Deepwater Horizon disaster, we can ask some questions about that. For Gap, this means don't pretend bringing this logo will change things or the brand or what you offer if you still have the same trousers and the same shirts. Okay, you need to do a little bit more. Lesson number six is, and it's related to five, skin deep rebranding won't do the trick on this one. So you have to change the product position first before the new logo is being used. And this way the customers are more likely to understand. Nevertheless, Gap may have been lucky to some extent by having increased its brand loyalty with all this complaining on the social media done by its fans on Facebook and so forth. So this already brings me to the wrap up. We have lessons four through six. Lesson four talked about emotions, play a bigger role than rationality when bringing in a new logo. Don't pretend being something you're not. So just bring in a new logo and nothing has changed, won't cut the trick. And uh, sit number six is skin deep rebranding won't, won't do. You have to do a little bit more than that. That already brings me to the end of uh, today's uh, short video, the Commetrics Online Intel Show, lessons four through six to be learned from the Gap logo debacle. Read it also on the blog about one through three. I thank you for having attended uh, this uh, session and I hope to see you again soon uh, attending another one. Thank you.